Today I'm going to show you guys an accessory that I use for portability, whether you're traveling or on the go. This is the Photo Deox Speed Ring insert only. And how I go about using this bad boy is that I use it with an 8200 Pro strobe flash, if you guys aren't familiar with it. So let's set up this bad boy and show you guys a real demo and how you would set this up. So, all right, let's get this going. All right, so I got my 8200 Pro set up on the light stand. Now with the adapter that it comes with it for the light stand, this is usually my setup for portability. I don't take the big uh, Godox S ring most of the time, but you could use this with this. But for right now, we're just gonna use the more portable solution. So this I know that you can use with this model that I just told you, but you could also, it was also dedicated to quantum strobes as well. I'm not familiar with those, but that's what the listing says that you can use them. Put it on there. All right, make sure it's latched on. There you go. Perfect. So that's how it looks from side to side to the front, right? And let's put what I normally use. And this is the Godox 24 by 24 softbox. Foldable, collapsible, pop-up softbox. So let's latch it on there. I'll put a better angle so you guys can see it. Put it on. Oh, you guys can see that latch. Let's bring it up closer. There you go. So the edges, I just latch it on there. I don't know if you guys could see it. The little latch edges. I just insert them into that speed ring insert. And then just want to make sure you tighten it. The problem with this is that I wouldn't take this normally as a on a windy day. See how it's like I already tighten it and it's slowly going down so you'd have to really tighten the light stand adapter that's the only drawback to this unfortunately there you go once you got it tightened it might slowly sag over time you just want to make sure that you check up on it so yeah, you guys can see it. That's the setup. So big, I know. There you go. You could also put this down too. Um, but again, like I told you, I just mentioned it. Um, see how I really tighten that bad boy? Now you want to really tighten it when you do a 45 degree angle, if you ever use it in this position. I want to show you also, if you don't want to put your confidence in this adapter um, because it sags, let's try the Godox S adapter, the new one. One thing to note before I forget is that you could also use this not just for that collapsible softbox but you can insert an actual speed ring the whole speed ring and i'll put up pictures too that you guys can see i unfortunately don't have a speed ring because i don't use those types of uh, modifiers or softboxes but as you guys can see on the screen you can use various types like that and you could actually use them more for travel and on location if you don't want to carry the weight 
of the collapsibles or other types of modifiers that are way heavier. So let's up, set up the uh, Godox speed ring. That way you guys can see the difference. All right, so we have the Godox speed ring on. I'm gonna put the adapter. Again, this is the Photo Deox speed ring insert only. It's made out of metal, so if you drop it, it's only gonna get like a small ding. I've, I haven't dropped it that many times, but it's gotten scratches. It's not gonna break the bank if you drop it. It is metal, as you can hear. Well, there you go. All right, so let's put on that softbox again. Let's see the difference for you guys. Let's see. Let's put on those latches again. Let's see if I can get you guys a better angle of it. That, see that flap ledge right there? You could actually put a speed ring here if you guys want, but I find it cumbersome and unnecessary. All right. There you go. Put that on there, make sure it's tight. Yeah, make sure also that the adapter is really on tightened as well, because if it's loose, it's gonna wiggle. So make sure when you guys are putting it on that it actually goes in all the way. See how it clicked? Tighten it best you can. And see, this is why I want to show you guys a demo of it because stuff like this can happen. Let me take this out. It's a good thing this happened too, so you guys can see troubleshooting. Took it off because it'd be easier for me. There we go. All right. I'm gonna make sure it's tight because I don't want it to break the bulb either. It's because there's some latches right there too. You guys can see that. It's really tiny. But yeah, there's some latches right here, notches that they really have to go, those grooves, they really have to go in there. Perfect. Put this bad boy in there. Tighten this bad boy. Good thing this happened. So you guys could see. Tighten this. Perfect, there you go. Now you notice how it's not sagging anymore. It's beautiful. Right? There you go. I'm glad that happened. Things can happen and you want to see how you can troubleshoot it. I'm really careful with my stuff and make sure that it's absolutely um, dead on and actually placed right and yeah all that all that scenario because it would be really bad i've seen videos um not to go on a tangent but i seen videos the other day of people just taking stuff apart and it falls out of the light stand or falls out of their hands and whatnot so you, you got to be careful even though it is metal and stuff but you got to be also aware of what you're placing these materials into like that bulb from the Godox 8200 Pro or Flashpoint 200 Pro. I almost forgot about the rebrand too. So yeah, that is my show and tell of what I use for portability. I, in my la humble opinion, if I don't have any more room in my bag, to place this 
unorthodox shape of a speed ring. Uh, I'd rather take the the light stand adapter that came with the the 200 Pro. But in all honesty, if I do have the room, I'd rather take this because it doesn't sag and I don't have to look like a dork tightening and tightening it just so my my uh, things don't look like they're gonna fall into the ground and smash into a million pieces. But yeah. Uh, um yeah i don't know how to end this video but i will link an affiliate link to this it would help me greatly if you guys are interested in buying this also support the channel and myself and my family if you guys have any questions or comments or you have this very product what do you guys use it with i'd love to hear it so people can read off those comments and get ideas for themselves as well so let's help out each other. And I'm excited to also show and tell more of the accessories that I use that maybe can help out people out there and what to get. Because I, I don't see that many videos on here showing of accessories. I just see more of cameras and lenses. But I, I thought this would be cool to, to show you guys and hopefully it helps out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and all that mumbo jumbo. Hope you have a beautiful day. Peace. And I always get so shy and nervous around these things. However many YouTube videos I've done, I, it's, I just get terrified. <laughs>